Yo guys, what's up? It's your boy Dave here, the Open Source Gangster, and I just want to show you a quick video today because I went online, I saw this, and I thought it was really cool. So, you know how the Android KitKat was just released, and Google added all these cool new things to KitKat, such as a new launcher, uh, Google new search, uh, Hangouts, and stuff like that? Well, if you want to get this on your device that's running Android 4.3, you can. So I'm using an HTC One that is running Android 4.3, and as you can see, I have the new Google Launcher experience, um, and this is the exact same launcher found on a Nexus 5 and um, found on Android KitKat by default. So I repeat, this is not a skin, this is not like a theme for Apex, this is the actual, you know, pure launcher found for it. And I can swipe to the left, and I get Google Now and all that other good stuff, um, and I get the stock Android launcher. Our first close, great. <laughs> um, but this is really good, um, and it's just really awesome. So, how to get this? You just have to do a few things. What you have to do is download a few uh, APKs. So, the first one I'm going to download is the it's going to call, be called Velvet APK, but it's going to be the Google Search APK. So, you need to download the new search, the new Google Play Services, which is going to be called the pre built Gmail Core APK, and then the new Google Home APK. So, what you do is you install it. So once you download it, you'll tap on it, you hit install, and it'll install that. So first you install Google Search. Then after you install Google Search, you go and install Google Play Services. And then finally, go and install Google Play or Google Home. That will install the launcher. And then once you have all that, you can, you're set up and you're ready to use Google Launcher. I don't know if that Google Search thing is going to be consistently happening. Hopefully it won't. So this is, like I said, a quick video I just want to show you. Um... Check it out if you're running Android 4.3, and it may work with Android 4.2, I'm not too sure. It might be any Jelly Bean device, uh, to double check. But just check it out and see if it works on your device. And like I said, it's just a really neat thing to do. Um, and if you want to get a little taste of KitKat without actually running KitKat, then this is a great alternative. So guys, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for some more guidelines and videos. Thanks.